Morning, I'm Phil Cassidy. We're all sad because Play It Again can is history, but we'll pick your spirits up with the remote control flying lawnmower. Good day, Oregon, on Oregon's 12. Live from the studios of Oregon's 12, you're watching Good Day Oregon with Ken Ackerman, Kimberly Moss, Kathy Smith, Andy Carson, and Tony Martinez. I've been telling folks all morning it's a sad day, but I got to tell you from my heart that Tim Becker is going to give everyone a comprehensive look at sports like Portland has not seen in the morning. We are going to get Tim Becker's wacky brand of humor from now on, Ken Ackerman. You know, this is sort of like when the Spice Girls broke up for me. I'll always remember the day, the time, and the place, you know, when, you know, Ken's Play It Again Ken segment actually ended. I mean, it's just one of those dramatic moments in life. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah, but... Mark McGuire's 500th, but Ken's Play It Again ends. Which one do you remember? Let's see. Home run, <laughs> Play It Again Ken. It's a toss-up. It's, it's, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. All right, Phil, I know you'll have more on this a little bit later in the news. We look yes. forward to seeing you. Okay, thank <laughs> you very much. Marv Albert Cassidy right there at 701. Kathy Smith is standing by. She has the news for us this morning, Kathy. A lot going on this morning, right. Ken. It, it thank you very much. It lasted two months. It was a good one. Phil's lawn care and flight school begins today. Phil joins us with a UFO this morning that doubles as a popular household tool. Phil? <laughs> That's right, guys. It's a lawnmower. We're on the Lewis Farm in Forest Grove for the Oregon Miniature Aircraft Squadron fly-in this weekend, and there it is. It is a flying lawnmower built by Lloyd Marol of Tacoma, Washington. Let's go meet Lloyd and his lovely wife, Barbara, the happy couple standing by Hi. with the remote control. That's Lloyd, it. I guess, why would you go ahead and build a lawnmower that flies? Well, I even had no idea about building, but my wife says, honey, she says, I've been in the crowd and everybody wants to see something different. She says, why don't you try a flying lawnmower? So behind so, every good flying lawnmower is a beautiful yeah. wife, right, Barbara? Your life. Of yes. course. Yes. <laughs> I would say so. Are you guys nuts? You think, Barbara, a little nuts flying a lawnmower? No. Oh, I love it. Well. It's, it's interesting. It's really nice. And it's you guys a, are in demand, super. aren't you? Yes. You're, it's you're a the a feature actor everywhere you go. What's your appearance fee? Uh, it was zero. <laughs> really? Yes. Why? You just, just do it for do the fun it. of it. That's right. How we does just this travel thing work around. aerodynamically? I mean, look, the whole, is the well, whole thing a wing? Or? Well, it's, it, it's, it's, it's got a little diamond shape on the bottom, but the, the thing that really stabilizes the machine is the top, the lifting part of the airfoil. If not, it, otherwise it just keeps jumping up and down. Okay, let's see if we but, get this uh, thing off the ground okay. here, Lloyd. All right. And it's we'll an amazing it thing. Quick. They go all over the country with this. And go hold it, Mom. How on, many uh, hedges have you trimmed? Have you crashed this thing a little bit? or? Uh, no. I haven't crashed this one, but uh, the first five years that uh, I uh, built them, I lost them real quick. Like they didn't, yeah. it took me six years to get them to fly real good. Wow! What do the What do the neighbors think when you're flying the lawnmower around? <laughs> I don't fly it around the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> and no, you, it, you won't fly it around any other airplanes either, will you? You'll just uh, no, it's basically right. a solo act. Right. And the starter oh. right here. Okay. You know, Tony Martinez needs some fuel. Do you have there any fuel uh, on board this thing? He could yes, borrow on his I helicopter. Yes, I have 24 ounces. Yes. Wow, that's perfect. That'll get over. Oregon Miniature Aircraft Squadron runway here in Forest Grove, the Lewis Farm. Go to Forest Grove. Everybody knows where the Lewis Farm is. Just ask someone and they'll uh, okay, they'll tell you where it is. And prepare for takeoff, my man. Put your seat trays up. Right here. And here we go. And go, Lloyd. Lloyd, I think he uh, cut a little too deep on the grass there. Okay. Here we go, big Lloyd. Down the runway it goes. I wonder how... Which runway he needs to take off. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> A gate climb with the lawnmower straight up in the air. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Wow. Hey, I don't give a flying lawnmower. This is fun. Oh, yeah, Lloyd. Wow. Wow! Can you do everything a remote control airplane can do? Yes. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable! Except, except spin. I can't flat spin. And you you can't flat spin. No. Darn! I see it even flies good inverted. It does outside that is squares. Nuts. <laughs> now I've seen it all. <laughs> Touching things can and you go to you go to major air shows with this too, right, Lloyd? Yes. Wow. They, and he says they clear the runway for like 15 minutes. They move all the military jets way back when he's flying. 
Phil, I guess that's when the grass gets really high. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Human they aid. call them in around springtime. Oh, Phil, you've outdone yourself this morning. Thank oh, you. That is nuts. <laughs> oh, I'll do an inverted four point. Uh, what's next? The flying riding lawnmower? Yeah. Really. And Phil, you could be Gosh. the pilot on that one. Yeah. Oh, Phil, so much fun this morning. Thank you very much. It's 743 right now. Still ahead, flying lawnmowers and... Actor Willie Ames is going to be with us. You know him from Eight is Enough, where Charles in charge. We've got another sitcom he was in for two months to tell you about. And if you're driving around the downtown Portland area this weekend, you're going to notice most of the bridges are going to be closed. We're going to tell you why next. Stay with us right here on Good Day Oregon. All right, David, stay by your set. And folks, if you didn't watch earlier, gather around because you're going to see one of the funniest moments on Good Day Oregon. Bill Cassidy is with the remote-controlled flying lawnmower in Forest Grove. Hey, Bill. Hey, that's right, Kenny. We're going to fly conventionally at first, though. we got a plane on the runway here, uh, and this is uh, a Corsair, Navy Corsair from way back when, and Bernie is going to take this thing off and fly just for a few seconds. We're going to talk about the event uh, that's going on out here in Forest Grove at the OMAC runway. That's the Oregon Miniature Aircraft Squadron, and it's all this weekend. You're going to see really cool planes like this, and Bernie, talk about the size of the thing. That's a pretty big size remote control plane. Yeah, it's a pretty good size. We we have a, a relatively large motor in it. It's a four-stroke 150. Brand new plane for you? Uh, the This is the fourth flight on the airplane. Wow, that's cool. And there's going to be like hundreds of airplanes out here coming from all over the Northwest, and Bernie's going to be one of those. Bernie, why don't you give us a little shot by the runway here, bring it in, and then we'll take off with the flying lawnmower. Whoa! <laughs> that is fast. Very nice flying, Bernie. Bring it on in. I'm going to go down to Lloyd here. Lloyd's going to crank up his uh, flying lawnmower here for us. And Lloyd is from Tacoma. Uh, and he flies this thing at air shows and fly-ins like this one uh, in Forest Grove all over the place. He's in demand. He's the featured event out here. And Lloyd is uh, going to crank the flying lawnmower up one more time. That's his wife, Barbara, there. Barbara apparently is the brains behind the operation. And Lloyd firing the thing up. And he's going to take off here. It's basically, it looks like a wing to me. You got the, uh, the handle, you got the wheels, and you got the, uh, the low mowing height there. And there it goes. And we are ready for takeoff with the flying lawnmower. Watch this thing take off. Lloyd can do just about all the aerobatics uh, you'd ever want to see. Um, any kind of aerobatics except a flat spin. And they are warming the engine up. Little sound for you there here at the Lewis Farm in Forest Grove. Lloyd's at the controls. Barbara's going to let it go. They'll taxi out. Okay, babe. There you go. And there we go, Lloyd, checking the runway. We have clearance from the tower officially. He is going to the lot. There we go. Oh, a little raindrop coming down. That won't affect your flying, will it, Lloyd? He says no. And there he goes. He's defying the laws of physics, girl. Oh, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen, Lloyd. That's a fantastic little machine. Look at that. I love it. Upside down flying Flies lawnmower. Great. Unbelievable. Over the water. Lloyd, do you have fun doing this? I mean... I love it. Uh, yes, there's nothing better. I'll tell you, when that, since I retired, that's all I do is fly and models, and they are, they're just super to fly. And part of the act is you you run down the runway, the announcer says you're, you you got to mow the uh, the runway, and right. then all of a sudden it takes off ahead of you, and it right. goes flying. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that turn. Very maneuverable, very nice, very yeah, fun. Turns. Come on out here, have a great time. Ken, Saturday and Sunday at the OMAC runway. Where you got... <laughs> It is just crazy, isn't it? Well, that's I mean, the it's funniest just... thing you've ever said. Uh, Lloyd said, since I retire, all I do is fly loop. lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> Most people play golf. He's act he actually had a flat iron that he had flying at one point a couple years back. He's a <laughs> Phil, that is funny, funny <laughs> it's stuff. It's just got crazy. You, you got to get out of here and see it. They didn't believe me. They're watching it and just rolling right now. <laughs> it's 839 from flying lawnmowers to Mike Darcy. He's going to get down and dirty with some folks trying to restore the bluebird population right in the Willamette Valley. And...